resident versus non-resident. This is Simon Yun, a CPA at Dongnam Accounting Corporation, Seoul, Korea. I'm a member of Elliott Global Alliance, which is a network of international lawyers and CPAs around the world. Resident versus non-resident. This is very important concept in tax law. Definition, first of all, the resident is a person who has a domicile in Korea or has a place of residence for at least 183 days a year. Non-resident is a person who is not a resident in Korea. Taxability uh, for the resident, um, taxable for his or her worldwide income. Non-resident, taxable only for his or her domestic source income. Domestic here means Korea source. A foreign resident who has had his or her domicile or place of residence for not more than five years in total, from 10 years, shall be taxed only on his or her income paid in or limited to Korea in cases of income from foreign sources. This means that a expatriate working in Korea for four years, for example, has a foreign source income uh, in uh, his own country like UK, but he stay only four years, so uh, his income in, in UK is paid in in Korea or limited to Korea, then there will be a taxable income, but otherwise his uh, income from foreign sources will not constitute uh, Korea taxable income. Definition of resident is changed. Before 2015, uh, a person, regardless of his or her nationality, who has domicile or place of residence for 183 days or more per year, in this case, just a year, so from a certain day to the one year later of next year, so it is a little bit uncertain and there will be some uh, arguable uh, points. And but 2015 to 2017, a law changed. A person, regardless of his or her nationality, who has domicile or place of residence for 183 days or more, for two calendar years. Two calendar years means, for example, from January 1 to December 30 next year. So uh, it is very easy for a person to become a resident because 183 days per two years. Since 2018 until now, currently applicable law, a person, regardless of his or her nationality, who has domicile or place of residence 183 days or more per one calendar year. One calendar year means from January 1 to December 31, the same year. For example, if a person stayed in Korea from August 1, 2022 to May 31, 2023, in this case, he stayed in Korea 10 months consecutively, he or she will not be considered as resident for 2022-2023, which means duration of stay in Korea is 5 months each for fiscal year 2022 and 2023. So in this case, he is free from Korea tax. Uh, criteria to determine resident. This is applied in order. So this means that the first step is the most important. And then uh, if first step is uh, fulfilled, it is finished at this stage. But if first step, uh, first step is not satisfied, but if second step is fulfilled, then uh, he can be a resident. The first step is having a domicile in Korea or a place of residence for at least 183 days a year in Korea. Domicile means address, which is very close relationship. Uh, so uh, in case of domicile, there is no uh, such a restriction like 183 days or so. But place of residence like hotel, in this case, this a little bit not very closer, uh, close uh, to like uh, domicile. So. 183 days, uh, this restriction uh, added. The second step is the 
the relationship, close relationship with Korea, judged by the facts of living relationship, such as the existence of a family living together in Korea, and of the property located in Korea. So, once the first step is fulfilled, he or she is considered as a resident, finish, period. Even though first step is not satisfied, when second step is fulfilled, he or she also can be considered as a resident in Korea. So, this is two phases, first phase and second phase. If first phase is uh, fulfilled, finish, resident. If second, first, uh, first phase is not finished, it's not uh, satisfied, but second phase is fulfilled, then he can be a resident. Second step means occupation and family. So to fulfill second step uh, for occupation, when a person has an occupation which usually requires him or her continually reside in Korea for at least 183 days. And family, when a person has a family member who makes living together with him or her in Korea and is deemed to continually reside in Korea for at least 183 days in view of his or her occupational or property status. So this is uh, to determine whether or not whether or not a resident. But otherwise, uh, on the contrary, if a person living or working abroad with the nationality of a foreign country or a permanent residency permit issued by a foreign country, in the case of Korea National, has no family member who makes a living together in Korea is not deterred, deemed to return to Korea to mainly reside in Korea in view of his occupation or property status, the person shall be deemed non-resident in Korea. So he will be taxable only to his Korea source income, not worldwide. Case study. The first case is employee dispatched overseas like employee of Samsung Electronics. In this case, can be a resident when the company he works for is 100% owned by a Korea company, directly or indirectly. So, if a company is 100% owned by Samsung Electronics, then he will be resident. But it is 80% Samsung, 20% like a, a other US, con US company, then he is not considered as resident. Government employee always resident. General employee working overseas even though the number of days staying in Korea is less than 183 days a year, he or she can be deemed as resident considering family and property status maintained in Korea. And pro athlete playing in Korea like a, a expatriate uh, player in soccer team, Korea soccer team, resident when over 183 days stay. Pro athlete playing overseas like Korea player playing in Japan, even though number of days staying in Korea is less than 183 days a year, he or she can be deemed as resident considering family and property status maintained in Korea. This is the same as general employee working overseas. And student, student studying overseas, he can be a resident when rely on income of Korea resident like parents, etc. When a person be a resident to multiple countries, how judge which country is resident? The first and foremost is permanent home. This means that the resident is considered as permanent home in country A and he is the resident of country A. If permanent home is multiple or not clear, then the viral the center of viral interest, which means that where well, his personal and economic relations are closer, this country is his, he is the resident of this country. Third is habitual board. If first and second uh, criteria is not met, he shall be deemed to be resident where he has an habitual abode, like Korea or Hong Kong or Singapore. National, if he has multiple habitual abodes, he shall be deemed to be a resident where he is a national. The, the first rank is national. And finally, if a person rather strange, he has a first, second, and third, and first not met yet, 
then the mutual agreement between the countries will be the judgment to determine the residency. Thanks for being with us. The resident and non-resident matters is very important. Uh, usually this will be a bone of contention between the uh, taxpayer and the tax office. For details, please do not hesitate to contact our email dongnam at elliotkorea.com or dongnam at cpadac.com. Thank you very much for having me.